now you have the two companies with the unique public IP address. So how this is going to be connected? So company A and company B. So again, they required the internet. Means if two company want to talk to each other, they cannot talk to each other without the internet. And internet is basically your ISP. Means it is going to be like Airtel, Vodafone, whatever you use, or might be the Verizon, AT&T. These are the ISP for the different different company they are going to use to just make the connectivity and they require the public IP address. So whatever the range of the IP address which we discussed in the just previous lecture in that we understand class A, class B, class C IP address and we also discuss about the what is the private IP range. So let me show you again what is the private for your reference. So if I go here let me show you. So we have this, this is the range, right? We discuss. This is the private IP address range. You can see this is the private IP address range. So any IP address belong to this, this is not going to talk to internet. Means private IP address never talk to internet. Internet only going to talk with the public IP address, guys. So you have to always take this note, right? Means if I want to talk to internet, I have to use my public IP address. Means if two company want to talk to each other, they require the internet service provider. And after that, they have to go from the public IP address.